Hey guys and welcome towards the scale. So I've been using Perplexity Pro more and more and I've been straying away from Bards, Changeability and Claude for many reasons now. And I must say that outside of Agility Writer and SEO Writing, Perplexity Pro is my go-to AI copywriter that I'm using for research almost exclusively. Before we dive in into the today's video, let me remind of how powerful Perplexity really is. There are quite a few videos on my channel talking about Perplexity, so here I discuss the power of Perplexity when it comes to extracting LSI entities. Here I'm showing how to use Claude, which can now be connected to the internet via Perplexity to get that copywriting goodness of Claude powered with factual data. Here I'm sharing an SEO prompt that I'm using for Perplexity to generate highly relevant SEO optimized articles. I'm not sure if I'm going to title this video so, but uh, for me, Perplexity has done so many updates, so it looks more like Perplexity 3.0 right now. So first off, some of the obvious things the models. And before I talk about the models, uh, another thing that is very important to me especially is that Perplexity does not require VPN. So BART works in some countries but not the others. ChatGPT is the same and Claude is the same way. I am from a country where VPN is needed for virtually any AI tool. So it's a great relief for me to not have to use a VPN. And right now if you go to Perplexity Pro settings, you can see that you have a plethora of different options. So you have GPT-4, you have Claude 2.1, which is the most recent Claude's update, and you have Gemini Pro. And I don't think I'll be going into much detail about the pros and cons or the strong suits of each of the models inside of Perplexity. If you want me to do that, let me know. But in short, GPT-4 is great at extracting LSIs. Claude 2 is still better for copywriting purposes, even though it can be tricky because it has that uh, future that um, Gemini Pro doesn't, for example. So it's less likely to write about tricky topics. And Gemini Pro is pretty good at uh, extracting information from the existing articles and creating article outlines. So one of the biggest uh, pros of Perplexity is the ability to pick and choose between the three admittedly most powerful, most popular models. And you don't need the VPN. Now, there are also quite a few things that I want to touch upon. And first is the one that I've just discovered by accident, the images. So now if you go to new threads and Perplexity still has an ability to attach images, text, and PDFs, so you can upload a document and work off of that. And it also has a focus mode, so you have the academic mode that searches academia-related papers. And then the writing mode that does not get connected to the internet, but the output is longer. YouTube which is great at finding YouTube videos, and Reddit, which is actually a very sneaky way of, of finding different niche ideas, different conversations, and extracting opinions. In one of my videos, I said that you can use Reddit to extract testimonials, which is great. So just an example, if you go to YouTube, and uh, this is the example that I will be using. Should I delete old blog? content. Now I can activate the copilot. I usually don't, but what copilot allows you to do is to get a more precise laser thin responses. It will ask you follow up questions like what is the main purpose of your blog? SEO impact? Let's just say that or you can skip. And most of the time Copilot will ask highly related questions. But sometimes for larger tasks like writing a whole article, I will disable the Copilot. So now Perplexity is actually searching YouTube videos titled Should I Update Old Blog Content? And if you're writing about this subject, you can just straight use the YouTube videos and this will make your article unique and stand out in the crowd because everybody is basically spinning the existing blog post content and here you are using YouTube videos. So that's one of the use cases. Another one would be Reddit and Reddit is great. Uh, find me Jasper AI testimonials. And you can use the, this for any of the products like Amazon products, for example. And again, you will uh, get ahead of the port, so to speak. So everybody will go on Amazon, but here you are going to find actual feedback, actual testimonials, where there is no need to sugarcoat the features, pricing, pros and cons. Okay, sent. So there you go. There are some testimonials that butcher the price. Some users have found the price to be a significant con, and you can just go to the link. And here is a testimonial. As I was already acquainted with and used some AA tools, the task seems easy to it, but the more I scroll through AA list, the more complicated choosing becomes. Let's start with Jasper. 
cons, the biggest con is the price, and you can just copy this, use the source, and here's one of the testimonials that you won't necessarily see anywhere. And that's one of the great applications of this Reddit mode. Then obviously you can do academia, so any research papers on blogs in 2023. And here are a few papers, so the evolving role of blogs in research and education, blogs as catalyst for academic discussion, and blogs and educational innovation. So we can just follow the link like so. And this will lead to actually to Cornell University, which is a very reputable university. So I actually digressed. What I wanted to show you is the new image feature. So if we go with my favorite example, CanDocs in London, you now get a sidebar. Yeah, and I'm using academic which is good, can be 100% certain that this answer is the correct one. But anyway, <laughs> let's try again. New thread, let's uh, choose all, which is the mode that you'll be using most often. Can dox it long end and let perplexity load up. So now what you can do is you can search videos and generate images. So if you press on generate images, you get a choice once again from painting, photograph, illustration, and diagram. Let's uh, try them all. So this is the painting. And let's see if I can open this up in a new window. Because if you go to settings, you can now see that the image generation model is Dolly 3. And you can choose between that and the default model. This is the image. Quite good. And if you don't like it, you just regenerate it once again. So it was painting. You can just click on painting once again. Let's try photograph. Okay, this is a photograph, pretty accurate. What other options do we have? Let's try illustration. Okay, this is an illustration that, wow, that's actually quite good. So you can just pop it into Canva and get rid of the text, and that's easy to do. Nice. So illustration can be used inside of your blog along with the featured image. Let's try last one, which is diagram, and I'm actually not sure what that's gonna look like. Oh, nice. Well, this is actually amazing. So you can just copy this image, go to Canva, copy this over, and then do a very simple text grab, which is this feature here. And now you can easily change all of these text to a more relevant one. That's amazing. Okay, so in my opinion, all four work beautifully, but that's not all. Now you have the collections, and collections is uh, somewhat similar to ChatGPT plugins, but before I go into collections, let me show you another feature, which is called uh, AA Profile. So here, you can store, this is similar to custom instructions inside of ChatGPT, and here you can store the most important information for you. So mine is as follows. When I ask you to write an article, always follow the article checklist. So be creative, include tables, use language that shows real expertise, make sure the title contains the keyword and is under 55 characters and so on. So this is one, and you can pause and activate it at any time. But collections are different. Collections are used to store your discussions, but also to have specific threads so one of my threads is outline genius and I use that to come up with outlines so let's just use the same can docs eat longer example and I just type it in that's all it takes and inside the collections you have your custom prompt as well so this actually while it's working it's uh, referencing the uh, custom instruction inside of that collection so this is the outline define long end state the primary search intent and since I have a very unique custom prompt this is more of a writing prompt the same mixture between the your optimized outline and a writing prompt. So th this is what makes it unique. And you can create any of the collections. I'm toying around with collection called LSI Extractor. It's not ready yet. When it is, I'll be using it to extract LSI's exclusively. So I don't have to start a new window each and every time. I know that this is the collection for a specific purpose only, and I'll be using that for that purpose. So the next one, it's kind of subjective, but as far as accuracy, I still think that perplexity is way more accurate than even BART, even Bing, even GPT-4 with Bing. So it's the most accurate resource I've ever found. And if I have just general questions regarding legal, for example, I always turn to perplexity. I would never use BART or Claude God forbid, or Bing. So this is extremely accurate. And when you have the A profile collections and accuracy, what it means is just better articles. Let me give you a glimpse and I'll probably record a separate video about article writing inside of Perplexity. So let's just make sure I have Claude on. Torn between Gemini Pro and Claude. So, but uh, this time around, let's use Claude, starting a new thread. 
And let's start with a question. And I don't need a copilot here. What is content pruning? Content pruning refers to the process of removing low quality, low traffic, thin duplicate content. And perplexity is always referenced in the top three or four resources on the SERPs which is great. Then what I always like to do is to ask a follow-up question, which is, are there any data-driven case studies related to the topic that I can link to? Yes, there are two relevant case studies with data cited in the search results. The QuickBooks case study shows how they deleted over 2,000 blog posts, representing 40% of their content and saw a 20% increase in organic traffic. The case study of Going Flow explains how they deleted low-value pages for an e-commerce clients, leading to a 64% increase in revenue for organic search. Imagine uh, this is the context that Perplexity is ready to be using. And now if I prompt further for an article outline, it's just going to use this precious information. And that's going to make every outline, every article unique unique as opposed to just prompting Claude with uh, write me an article about constant pruning, for example. So once again, in short, why I believe that Perplexity 3.0 is superior in uh, so many ways to ChatGPT being Bars and Claude is that it has the three major models. It doesn't require your VPN, so it's a lifesaver for so many countries. Just the other day, a person from Germany said that they couldn't get access to Claude, which is just ridiculous. You now can generate images, uh, not only that, but you can have them in a photographic quality as a painting. You can uh, create diagrams and illustrations as well. Now you can use the power of AI with your AI profile and collections. The collections are task specific and I still believe Perplexity is the most accurate AI tool out there. And this in short means that if you're on a budget, if you just have 20 bucks and nothing else, Perplexity 3.0 is actually the best choice for AI copywriting that exists right now. This is my opinion. I won't be using Perplexity to write all of my articles, but I've written articles with Perplexity only and they rank like crazy. Now I understand why. Hope this video was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time.